Perfect. All right, Tanya Powell here with Adventures for Connection. And today we're gonna to chat about a little more about the current energies and tap into doing a healing meditation that I will send as a recording so that you have it and can use it for your benefit uh, as we go through uh, until the next one. So these are not pre-planned. These are um, guided for what you need. And then at the same time, I'm sending out healing. So how does this healing happen? This healing happens because I am able to uh, use, I had a really, I've had some really big experiences around the heart expansion and, and utilizing that. And so whether somebody's doing Reiki or quantum or any type of energy healing with you, they're allowing source energy to come through you or through them and then extend to you to give your soul and your body that resonance and feeling of having a higher vibration. And when we have that higher vibration, it will help to clear cells, clean cells, uh, activate things within you, whatever is for your highest good right now. And I'll just say that I can't do anything that will hurt you. And everything I do do is, is for your highest good and my highest good, of course. And so I really truly believe that we're all each on this individual journey to remember how powerful we truly are. And the big picture is we chose to be here at this time. We realized we would have to go through this. It's a, it's a process. And we come in many times to go through this bigger process, which I'll share at another time because it's too long to share now. Uh, bigger process and we're all at a specific part in that bigger process and it's many steps which means most likely if you're in this room you've had many lifetimes here already and in this particular one this is your time to remember who you truly are how powerful you are to be that beacon of light for others not to tell them what to do but to guide them to be able to you know listen to what they have to say and speak of your experience and what you know and if it resonates with them, they may take it. So take what resonates, leave the rest. <clears throat> I'm not here to tell anyone what to do. I just have, this is my mission, is to activate uh, those in the collective ready to up-level again and um, continue on a path of remembering and surrendering to that what is, which is source, because we're all little pieces of source and we're all connected. And when you surrender to that, it's funny because I can't plan six months ahead. I can plan up to that, but even that I remain very fluid. And that is extremely different than the physically I got a do girl that I used to be. And so even just by shifting that, I have people coming to me and saying, what are you doing? What have you done? You're so different. And so I get to reside in joy much, much more. It's not to say I don't have things to to get through and pass through but as you get through this process things get easier and easier and so we're going to spend some extra time also on the womb today which i'm just being told we all come from a womb it's how we come into this world through the belly button and into the right the soul comes in that way and as the soul comes in it's also passed through some planets and the sun to come in and so it's a bit of a journey to get in and we're not taught to really um, revere our womb. And to me, my womb is my safe space. And when you're in the womb, you're all surrounded by the, you know, the fluids and you're taken care of and you don't have to worry about anything. You just get to be. That is the space I go within me when I meditate. And I call it the void or the, um, the, the neutral point. And so I can drop into that pretty quickly now. And just so you know, I don't do hours and hours of meditation. It's not my style. I do more active and everyone's different and everyone will approach us differently. I like guided meditations. Or I'll listen to frequencies. I listen to something called Debbie's Prayer, which I find uh, very activating and peaceful. And so I, and I don't follow one dogmatic way of being. I take little pieces of what resonates for me, filter it through me, and and see what comes through for me around what 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 um drew me to that in the first place and sometimes it's just one little point sometimes it's many points and so there's very few people out there speaking about the the 
the big cosmos in the right way. And so I always like to do body dousing or I use copper rods and try and teach people how to use that. So we'll talk about that at the end so that you realize you're not making decisions with the mind. You've sur That's how I surrender. That's my way of surrendering. So you can use your body or your fingers or the, the rods. And I started with the rods and I worked with the master dowser and then I dropped into the other. Okay. And I'm just going to put on a little bit of music. I just want to make sure you can hear it. So give me one moment. And we're going to put on the Debbie in the background really quietly. I'm just going to see if I can get the music only. And one of you let me know if you can hear that in the chat. I don't hear anything. Okay, then I'm not going to worry about it today. Thank you. So I got to set it up a different way. Okay, no problem. We're just going to leave it for today. Who's like, do you get into a comfortable position? There's no right or wrong way to do this. You could be sitting. You could be lying down. You could be in a chair. And I just like you to close your eyes. And we're just going to take a few deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And as we do this type of breath, it's a bit of a release. We're releasing toxins out of our mouth, inhaling really deep into the belly, please. And flooding our system with oxygen. And when you're ready, just start breathing in and out through the nose. This is the best way to breathe most of the time. We still want to be breathing past our chest and into our belly. And so every time you think about breath, I would like you to breathe a little deeper. So no matter what you're doing, if you're doing dishes and it comes into your head, it's your body reminding you to take a deeper breath when it needs it. And so we've all been taught to shallow breathe. And when we breathe more deeply and we oxygenate our cells, our cells are then able to repair better. A couple other tips to give you today is high quality water. I use a Santa Via. I have an amethyst point in there. And don't worry about writing this down. You'll have this recording. And that amethyst point allows the water to go into my cells easier and therefore giving them more water, which is critical to cell. And so just keep breathing and I want you to become aware. I want you to become aware of relaxing your body. We're gonna start at the top of the head and we're just gonna become aware of the top of our head and our ears and our neck, and we're just gonna relax. Drop the shoulders and have your hands on your lap or beside you, whatever is more comfortable. Become aware of your breathing, your chest. Remember the heart is a vortex and as a vortex, it can send energy. So this is also a reason why the breath is so important. The heart is not a pump. It's a vortex and that vortex energy causes the muscles around the heart to move. It's the same with the veins in the body. And so when we breathe, we're assisting our veins, pump that blood throughout our body, make us, us feel, allowing us to be more vibrant overall. So just keep going down the body and wiggle your hips and just relax. your arms, your thighs, your knees, your toes, your fingers. 
And I'm sure if you put your attention on your fingers right now, you can feel the energy at the end of your fingers. Little tiny chakras on the end of your fingers and the palms of your hands are also chakras. We need to take great care with our hands. Our hands are for healing. Our hands are for doing things, for feeding ourselves. The same goes for the rest of the body and for your feet. They take you around, they walk you along. You have points in your hands and your feet that relate to every single organ and point in your body. You have meridians throughout the body. You have a nervous system. You have fascia, which is also very critical to the function of the vortex and the blood pumping through your body. And now just by being aware and me stating this, your body is being activated. You will become more aware of feeling your body. And just keep breathing. Now we are on a planet Earth and we are electromagnetic beings. So we are energy. If energy can't be created or destroyed, then we are much more than this body. We are not the ones speaking. We are not the ones thinking. We are that which observes that. So we are the observer. We are the awareness. Part of our system is something called chakras or energy centers. And our connection to Mother Earth is because the Earth is magnetic. And so as much as you can to connect with bare feet, if you can't connect with bare feet, I recommend hugging a tree or hanging out with trees, being in nature. You can also bring dirt in the house and put your feet in dirt. It would help. And as we keep going with the breath, and make you aware, I believe in something called the central sun. And today we're going to anchor into the central sun. And then we are going to go up through the dimensions that we've done before. But today is different. There will be different activations. And I encourage you to listen to this recording again as needed. So I'd like you to become aware of the base of your spine. This is your root chakra. Your coccyx, the base of the 33 vertebrae. At the base of these vertebrae, there's an attachment of four DNA strands. These strands hold information. Once a month, when you're in your moon sign, and I recommend you look at sidereal, not tropical, and then bridge in between the two, I'll use an example. I am a Leo in tropical. I am a Cancer in sidereal. I look at my moon sign and once a month, my moon sign is active for approximately four and a half to six days. I tend to take a day before and a day after. On those days, I become keenly aware and extra attention on my diet so that I may be more connected because at this time is your point of being more connected. And so... I'm just making you aware of that so you can look. Again, this is a recording and you'll have more information as you make notes afterwards when I send it to you. We'll also talk more about this afterwards. All right, let's get started with the meditation further. I want you to imagine the crown of your head and the base of your spine. I want you to sit up a little straighter, but I don't want your shoulders to rise. I want you to still be relaxed. You can be leaning back. It's okay. You can be lying down. And we're just going to imagine we can feel energy. If you can feel it, great. Running up and down our spine to the very top of our crown. Even imagining it starts to activate it and make you more aware of it moving forward. I'm just going to do this a couple more times. And now I'd like you to imagine this energy leaving your coccyx, your tailbone, and having an energy cord going down into Mother Earth. It's a vibrant cord. It's full of energy and electricity. 
And it's going down through the grass, down through the dirt, down through the rocks. It travels so easily through anything. It goes through the underground water, goes through the magma, goes through the crystal. Crystal caves are everywhere underneath. And we go down, down, down into the central sun. And I'd like you to wrap this energy around the central sun. Just keep wrapping it like you would if you were making a yarn ball. And just keep visualizing it wrapping around and wrapping around and wrapping around. And then you're gonna start when you're ready, gently bring you back up and winding it around the cord attached to you. Just gently, it doesn't have to be tight. We're just anchoring in that connection. And it's coming back up through the crystal caves, through the magma, through the underground water, through the rocks and the dirt and the worms, through the grass and back up to the base of your spine. Now I want you to stop here for a moment and just keep running that energy clockwise and imagining the color red. And keep running it clockwise. Our chakra should be running clockwise and they will spin at the speed that your body can handle and is ready for. And you can expand it out visually. As far as you're comfortable doing, as far as your mind's eye gives you. Might be one foot, might be two feet, might be 10 feet. And just keep expanding it out. Now the color red, if you can't see it, just visualize it. Maybe you can feel the red. What does red feel like? Maybe you can taste red. Maybe you can smell red. We all have different gifts with our senses, so whatever keeps you connected to that red. Excellent, well done. Now your root chakra is your safety, your security, your attachment to money, and quite often our fears are harnessed here. And they keep us in this lower level. And this is what we're going to be moving past today. Now we expanded it out. And I want you to keep visualizing it as it's being cleared, comforted, clearing out the field, I like to call it. Energy gets trapped in little fragments within. And then we're going to shrink it back down and shrink it back down to the size of a dime. Keep shrinking it, keep shrinking it. You're doing great. Keep shrinking it down clockwise to the size of a dime. Excellent. You did it. And now we're gonna imagine that cord going up to the next chakra. The chakra is your sacral chakra. The chakra is orange, definitely connected to the womb, definitely connected to uh, sexuality. And we need to remember too, that we've been led to believe that uh, love is outside of us and that love is an emotion. And let's talk about that here for a second. Love is a state of being. Love is who you are at your base. Love is part of the remembering to come back to love. And what would love do in this situation? Love is not outside of you. Love is within you. You are never lonely and you are never alone once you remember this and it is activated within you. And today we are activating that. Now I want you to imagine we're going to expand this chakra and as we expand the chakra, imagine also your womb space. And we're going to be clearing that as well. The womb where you carry children, if you have children, 
where you're were attached to your mother no matter what, where you are attached to your lineage. And you are, you are the one to break a cycle, to heal that lineage, to move forward in a new way and be a shining example for others. And we're expanding that one out as far as you need and imagine clearing that field and washing your womb with the color orange and a love vibration, a tingling sensation caused by intention and circulation. Any emotions or thoughts that come up, it's okay. This is part of the clearing process. There's something that you need to give love to as a remembrance. Remember to be the observer. You do not need to relive any experiences anymore. You can observe them. And then you can say to the person that you were at that time, that child, that teen, that mother, ah, we've made it this far and I'm okay. It's okay that this happened to us. It was a gift. It showed us something we needed to know and overcome. And as we do this, we rise. We rise in vibration. We rise in love. We rise in becoming and expanding into true re to who we truly are. And so for this, I forgive myself for this time and space where I might still feel an attachment to this. I let it go. Beautiful. Well done. And now we're going to keep clearing this one again and shrink it down to the size of a dime. Can you see the color orange? Can you feel it? Can you taste it? Can you visualize it, just sense it. And shrink it down to the size of a dime. Well done. And as we move up, we're gonna move right past that belly button drone that I like to say is your consciousness that can travel and do remote viewing. That is for another day. And we're going to move up to the solar plexus. The solar plexus chakra is yellow. Ah, beautiful yellow. So vibrant, so sunny. Although I find our sun much more whiter now, do you? It's changed. It's shifted just like you are. Imagine that. And here we're going to imagine the color yellow. And we're going to expand it out to clear the field. We're gonna run it clockwise as always. And we're gonna run it out clockwise as far as you like. And just keep imagining it going in circles, clockwise out, out, out. And just with your intention and your energy, you're clearing that field. And again, if anything comes up for you, go through the process again, be the observer, observe the situation and release with love. You no longer have to suffer for past memories for the past can not be changed. Therefore, we just need to get rid of the emotions trapped within the body that we stuffed down during that time that we sucked up. We're going to release any dis-ease out of the body. It'll increase your vibration. Well done. And now we're going to shrink that one back down. Again, can you hear it? Can you see it? Can you taste it? And shrink it down to the size of a dime. And we're shrinking these chakras because we're gonna expand the upper chakras next. We're gonna create a connection for us to connect with our higher self. We don't need to operate from these lower chakras and we're gonna actually leave these the size of a dime for today. If at any time you feel the need to expand them, Please do. Most of the time, somebody might need to expand them if they feel too floaty, as it said. And if you have any questions ever, please reach out. I'm always here. And remember, you're anchored to Mother Earth. You're anchored to the central sun. You're safe. Well done. 
Almost there. Keep going. Shrinking it down to the size of a dime, the color yellow. Beautiful. And let's take a moment here just to stop and reflect. Follow your cord down through to Mother Earth. And below there, you have something called an Earth Chakra. The chakra is black. We're just going to expand this one a little bit. I'm being guided to. And so imagine the color black just below the earth, about six to eight inches, maybe 12. And it's dark and it's black and it's vast. And you're just going to spin that out as much as you're comfortable to. And I want you to add into this chakra, which creates a pool of chi at the base of your feet that you can draw upon to bring into the body as we go through the rest of this process for expansion. And we can add in love. So we're adding that. We're adding in some vibrational healing for the body. Adding in some magnesium today, as I'm being told. Ah. That's enough for today. And now follow that cord back up again, leaving that one expanded and follow back up. And we're gonna go up back up to the solar and just visualize the color yellow before moving up to green. And now we're gonna do expansion only. Green is the heart chakra. The heart is the way of operating. Your heart is that which is connected to everything. When we connect with a tree, it's our heart helping with our torus field to connect with that tree. When we connect to another person, that is our connection point. And so I want you to visualize the color green and we're gonna start expanding it out clockwise and we're gonna take it out 30 feet. Imagine this color green, this beautiful healing green, 432 Hertz to be exact. We're gonna put that intention in there and we're gonna expand it out out, out, and we're clearing that field as needed. Sometimes we lock heartache in our heart when we've been disappointed in someone or ourselves. It's time to let that go. Everything always happened for a reason. It was always happening for us, not to us. And we've been given this gift now for expansion at this time and place to let go of these things, to release it, Send it to the sun, send it to Mother Earth, release it into the ether. We are surrounded by energy. It's all around us all the time. Your heart is also the point of manifestation. And we'll talk about that for a moment as you keep visualizing the color green expanding around you out and out and out. Manifestation, everything you say, think, speak, and do is part of your manifestation. Some things take longer to come back to you depending on the energy behind that intention or that does that which you desire, or maybe even that which you don't desire. So be careful about what you speak and think about and do. Make sure it's always for your highest good. Putting yourself first is most important for when your cup is full, you can better help others. We'll speak more on manifestation another time, but just know that you are a manifesting being. Excellent job in expanding the heart. Beautiful. And now we're going to go up. We're moving up. We're going to go past the higher heart today. It's not required today, but your higher heart is turquoise and just above your main heart chakra. But today we're just going to let it be because it's good. And we're going to move up towards the throat chakra. The throat chakra is blue. And I would like you to think about your throat chakra and speaking your truth. And you know, sometimes when you're speaking and you get a frog in your throat, that is you trying to move past something that possibly is 
you you believe you should be holding back. But now is the time in this time and space to speak your truth. Just be conscious about observing what you're going to say. And are you saying it in the kindest way with love? And is it about your experience versus what you think somebody else should do? Many of us have locks on our throat chakra because we've had lifetimes of being lifetimes, timelines of being taken out for speaking our truth. This is no longer possible in this timeline. So now is the time. Now is the time to start writing, speaking, even if it's just for you, your truth, getting comfortable with the resonance of your voice. Your voice has a frequency. This frequency can be healing for your body. You can sing, hum, do mantras. Uh, is a very, very healing frequency. So is. Uh, uh, So you can do the vowels at different tones to help tone your body. And I leave that with you. And as you do this, you will find you have a, a new voice. It's quite fascinating to observe and watch. And you're like, hmm, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> it's quite expansive. And so imagine this color now, expanding out this blue, beautiful blue ocean. And it's expanding out further and further and clearing the field clockwise. Oh, you're floating in water. You're weightless. This beautiful blue feels so good. It's so energizing and healing at the same time. We're gonna expand that right out as far as you would like. Imagining the color blue, blue like the sea, blue like the dark evening sky. And does it have a, a taste or a smell? Can you feel it? Oh, what would it feel like to float up in the sky? Because you are surrounded by plasma, which is like water. It's just another form. Beautiful expansion. Well done. We're just going to pause here for a moment and just breathe. There we go. And then we're going to go up another one. Imagine, take your your cord and your consciousness up to your third eye, your pineal, your connection. And I want you to just put your attention there. It's basically in the middle of your head, a little further forward, because we often think about between our eyes. But when we focus between our eyes can often bring uh, too much energy there. So just pull it back a little bit behind the eyes. It'll be more comfortable for you. And we're actually just going to take a moment here and we're going to visualize our heart chakra and that healing energy wrapping around our pineal and helping to support clearing it and bringing a little bit of that central sun energy up as well. So I want you to imagine this golden green, this golden green, because now you've mixed green with silver and it's it's turned a little bit yellowish golden. Beautiful. And we're just going to do a little clearing on that right now. And you can just imagine just like you did with the ball of yarn around the sun, wrapping it around your pineal gland and just your energy and you're clearing it just helping to decalcify it. Other things that can also support this. Mm. The good water, minerals, cutting out specific things out of your diet. And we'll chat about more of that afterwards. Remember, where your attention goes, energy flows. So I'm sure you can feel that. And this is the beautiful thing that we have this ability to put our attention on things and increase the energy there just by putting our attention on it. And then we can set some intentions. Ah, my pineal is to cal. I love that my pineal gland is to calcify. I am free with my connection. I get messages that I can understand. I may not always understand them right away, but they're relevant. And over time, I unpack them. This is the beautiful thing about being connected. This is our truth, our connection. We each have our own. 
and every individual frequency has its very own path. No two are the same. And for you are part of the, you are a star. You have stardust in you. You have this connection already. And we're just remembering how to tap into it. And so let's expand this one and visualize the color amethyst to a dark indigo, whichever you choose. It's purple. And we're just going to spend it, send it out and expand it and clearing the field as we go, clearing the neurons, the pathways and the energy around this area and sending it out kind of like a hula hoop running around. And it's just going out and out and out. It's a spiral, sacred geometry. And just float. You should start to feel a little bit floaty. And that's okay. We're expanding our consciousness. Remember, we're still attached to the central sun of Mother Earth. We are safe. Well done. Can you see that purple? Can you feel it? Now we're going to go up to our crown chakra. And our crown chakra, I liken it to fairy dust. And we have these neurons that run around inside our brain. This is your crown of thorns. This is what the crown of thorns represented. And we're just gonna run that clockwise. And can you feel that energy? It's running around almost as if you have roadrunner running around the outside of your head, picking up and expanding the energy. And little fairies are helping too. Elementals love to play. Help expand out and out and out using this fairy dust to expand it out. Meanwhile, clearing everything out of your field. Well done. I'm just going to pause and take a breath here and just run that energy up and down through our spine again, keeping things connected. You can even check in on your earth chakra should you choose. You may feel some tingling and that's okay. You may feel a surge of energy and that's okay too. Your tummy may be gurgling. That's just the energy. Your heart may be beating a little slower or faster. It doesn't matter. As long as you feel safe and comfortable. And we're going to travel up to the 12th dimension. But first we're going to tap into the star chakra. And the star chakra is about a foot above your head. And it's the brightest, whitest light you've ever seen. So if our pineal is the camera or the eyes to connect, and our antenna is the crown chakra, and the star chakra is the antenna point, the beacon, the attractor. And I want you to imagine the brightest, whitest light imaginable. It is like nothing you've ever seen before. So just imagine it's so pure, it's so vibrant, and it's just gonna spin out as far as you would like. Just keep spinning it out clockwise. And again, it's clearing out that field. Anything that's outside of it there will be cleared. Well done, you're getting better at this as you go. Okay, now we're gonna breathe up and we're just gonna call it dimensions for sake of better word. And we're gonna go up to one, two, three, imagine. And I want you to pause here and imagine energy running around you clockwise. And we're just going to take a moment. Is there a word, a message, a statement, a color, a visual here for you? Excellent. Just tuck that away for now and let's keep going up. Four, five, six, 
seven, pause again. Is there another message here for you? Excellent. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm gonna rest here for a moment. If you have a question, go ahead and ask it or just take in and receive because you're the receiver now. And visualize the color pink. It's a magenta pink. Just allow any messages to come in, any visualizations. I would like you to visualize a golden light, a source light, the pink light. And I want you to bring up a, a little bit of your heart chakra and the earth. We're just gonna connect them. We're gonna pull the, the earth and the heart chakra up. We're gonna be on the 12 still. I'm just gonna spin that a little bit and garnish in more energy and lock in more energy to our heart chakra and the earth so that we're grounded and connected all at the same time. This is our birthright. This is what we came here to really do, to be this connected, to feel this love, to be this supported. And we're just gonna let all this energy float over us you can just visualize it all as golden light. It's all intertwined at this point. And we're going to go back down from 12 to 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now you're going to feel this golden light float over your entire body, cleansing your aura. And again, if any messages come out as we do this, and we're just going to run it clockwise around us and visualize that happening, you can feel it on your skin, your forehead, your nose, your eyes, and it's running clockwise around your body. And if anything pops into your head that needs to be cleared, please go ahead and do that now. And remember to send it with love. Although I have a feeling your fields are very clear. We've done a great job. Excellent. So just keep it, imagining it floating around you, your shoulders, and this beautiful loving light going through the body, around the body, healing and activating cells, your skin. Activating around your body, up leveling your energy. 
your stomach, your hips, all through the body and all over the body, all around the body, your knees, your shins, your calves, and your feet. And then you're gonna take this energy and mix it in with the chi pool, which is just like an oval pool that encompasses your feet at the base of your feet that the earth chakra is holding there. And we're just gonna mix that all in. Imagine it running clockwise around the outside of your feet. Excellent. Now we're gonna imagine this energy coming up again through the base of our spine and running all the way up through our chakras, coming out of the top of our head and then floating out like a fountain all around us. This is your energy field. This is your torus. It goes out in all directions, comes back in, underneath your feet, through the base, back up again. And you can just visualize it running through. Just like a fountain. It's your fountain. It's your fountain of energy. And imagine going out approximately 15 feet. So you're big. You're a big being. And remember, with this being bigness <laughs> comes some responsibility. Others may not be able to handle your energy. They may be triggered by you, and that's okay. Just observe. Don't engage. Don't interact. You will find that people will spin out of your life. The more you become you, who you truly are, the more people that are not meant to be in your life will not be. But what that's doing is allowing for a clearing so that the new can come in. New connections, new friends, new beings, and you will help each other rise and grow. And that is your birthright. I do recommend that being aware of your Taurus field every morning and getting it set up and doing something like this meditation, you can do it in five minutes now that you know. You just need to run the energy. Just give yourself that time, that five minutes, that 10 minutes, as long as you choose to set yourself up for the day. You will find your days get easier. Things are smoother. More synchronicities happen. And all you need to do is run your connection up and then imagine it coming back down and then running your Taurus. That is the quick fix. You can do this anytime you feel discombobulated, anytime that you feel you need to. This is a tool for you to use. Beautiful. You're all running beautifully. I am so grateful and so honored to be able to do this with you. And I just want you very, very, very slowly to bring your awareness back to your top of your head and your eyes, and your nose, your mouth, your cheeks, your chin, your throat, your shoulders, which still should be low and relaxed, your chest, your upper back. Your stomach your womb, your lower back, your buttocks, your thighs, your hips, your knees, your hamstrings, your calves, your shins, your feet, your toes. And I just want you to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, maybe stretch your body out. Have a stretch, have a drink of water and drink lots and lots of fluid today. It'll be important for you to hydrate. You can keep your eyes closed and just listen to me. And add in a few more things. Shijalit. 
This is a base mineral. Um, I think I started taking it like three years ago. And I do a lot of things. I did a lot of things so intuitively. I have no idea. I have so many tinctures because I was intuitively brought to get them, but they've all played a place and a role at a specific time. And I don't take them all at the same time and I body dose things. So depending on what you are feeling within the body, but getting those trace minerals, Celtic salt, Baja salt is one, but a gray Celtic salt, putting that maybe a little lemon water in a drink. I also do turmeric, squeezed like um, juice turmeric, juice ginger, lemon juice mixed with water with cayenne and pepper. And sometimes I put in methylene blue. Methylene blue is for helping the brain cells. So is Ormus. So it depends on what your body's called for. Everyone will be different. Everyone will need something else. Maybe you're called to specific crystals to hold and to keep near you. These crystals can help you. They grew. They are a soul. They are a being to help you, to help us. I never had any interest in crystals five years ago. And even just setting your attention on a crystal, you can utilize that crystal by connecting with it. So once you've connected with one, um, quite often I'll go to, there's a warehouse near me that I'll go to and I just go around and I connect with different crystals and gather their energy. And so I came home last night and needed a big nap after that one. But yeah, so crystals can be helpful. Sun gazing in the morning, sun gazing in the evening. These activate our eyes. Remember the sun comes in into the retina, into the eyes, the windows of the soul. And what they do is activate a chemical within the body so that you are protected from the sun burning you. If needed, you can get out of the sun, but I don't recommend wearing sunscreen and remembering that your skin is your biggest organ and be cautious about what you put on it. Foods, intermittent fasting, highly important if you are trying to clean your field, Clean your body from dis-ease, discomfort, aches, pains, cracks, apple pops. Uh, magnesium can also help that. And by intermittent fasting, by just extending that uh, lunchtime, dinner time, uh, not dinner time, sorry, extending your lunchtime or breakfast break fast uh, can greatly help the cells. Within 72 hours of fasting, your cells all start to autophagate, eat what is no longer needed and regenerate quicker. So I do recommend, and I do the lemon water with the ginger and turmeric and cayenne pepper. And if I get hungry, I add a little bit of maple syrup. It's got the B vitamins, but that's something you build up to and not require right away. But you will find as you feel better, as you feel stronger, as you follow your moon, all these things build up into this process of you remembering who you truly are. This is your birthright. This is why you are here. And with that, I'll close this off for today. Is there anything you have for questions or would you like to stay floaty? Just let me know. I'm going to leave you then. Enjoy the rest of your meditation. You can reach out, just send me an email on the website, find me on Telegram, find me on Facebook Messenger. Let me know if you have any questions. And I really look forward to seeing you again. We're also doing something called plant medicine journeys. People are microdosing around the world right now and I've been guiding them. And it's a beautiful way to speed up this connection point and to get out of our head and into our heart and to operate from a new place because earth is, nature is nurturing. Nature is a gift for us. And if you feel called to do so, just reach out around that. We do these every week if you so join. And I am hosting a retreat coming up in February 1st to the 8th. It's not quite posted yet. And that'll be in the Yucatan area of Mexico. And so if you have any questions about that, let me know. I love you. Have a beautiful day.